Hey guys, welcome back to the Paper Umbrella. My name's Jessie, and today we are finishing up our Fast Pass, our Pass series for the Magic Kingdom. Um, if you are new to this series, it's where I go park by park, land by land, ride by ride, and tell you what you should Fast Pass or what you should pass. Um, today we are going to be doing Adventureland. I'm so excited. One of my all-time favorite rides is attractions. It's not really a ride. It's in Adventureland. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about it. Uh, but unfortunately it's not even one that you can fast pass. Um, so today we're going to be doing those. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump into it. Um, the first one that you can fast pass, um, in Adventureland is the Jungle Cruise. Um, if you've never ridden Jungle Cruise, it is a classic, is one of those that Walt kind of had his fingers in. Um, it's such a fun ride. If you like dad jokes, you're going to like the Jungle Cruise. It's just how it is. Um, and I'm actually going to say fast pass this. If it is, if you can, if you have one of those spots that you want to fast pass for, or if you're just trying to use them up real quick during the day, um, Jungle Cruise is a great one. Those lines can get super, super long throughout the day. Um, it is a rather slow loading ride. So the line kind of drudges on a little bit. There are lots of ride vehicles, but it's just a, it's a very gentle ride. It's very slow. Um, it's great for kids. There's all sorts of animatronic animals that are fun to look at. It's great for adults. Um, you get that kind of sarcastic, like I said, dad joke sense of humor. So I'm actually going to say fast pass on this one. I, I really enjoy it. Um, the next one is going to be Aladdin's Magic, uh, the Magic Carpets of Aladdin. And I'm going to say pass on this one. Um, <laughs> and the line is never super, super long on this one. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen it long. Um, my little sister was in love with this one. We wrote it many, many times. Um, if you want, if your kid likes those kind of round, round, up and down, sort of Dumbo-like rides, this one's perfect. The line is not near as long as it is for Dumbo. Um... And the Triceratops Twirl and Animal Kingdom has one. It's just a very standard little kid ride. Um, it's fun. It's cute. If you like Aladdin, you may like it. Um, be careful of the spitting. Um, be careful of the camel. He spits. Uh, <laughs> if you see a wet spot in the ground, don't step there. Um, unless you want to get wet or you can put your child in there. That's fine too. Whatever <laughs> whatever works for you. But I'm actually going to say pass on um on magic carpets. The next one we have in Adventureland is an oldie but a goodie and that is Pirates of the Caribbean. This is another Disney classic cult favorite ride. It's got all the merchandise. It's got all the everything for it. You can find pretty much anything for Pirates of the Caribbean if you want to. Um, but I'm actually going to say fast pass on this one. Yet again, the lines can be pretty long and it is a slow loading ride. Um, yet again, they have lots of different um, boats going on at the same time, but it can be rather slow loading. I will say this, if you have children, maybe watch a few ride throughs. It is very dark in the cannon scene where they're, it can get kind of loud. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, so just maybe watch it with your kids. If you have a kid that doesn't do, you know, super well with loud noises, this may not be for them, or you may want to bring them some earplugs. Um, this will be a great ride to do that with, um, just to see how they do with it. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to say fast pass on this one. Maybe it's another one. Um, you know, if you're looking to use up your fast passes right away, this is a great one. If you just can't get it for anything else, I really do suggest pirates because those lines, like I said, can get pretty long. Um, I'm not going to say you need to prioritize either of these, uh, either jungle cruise or, um, pirates over, uh, like space mountain or seven doors mine train. Like if you want those rides, Fast pass those first. Don't do one of these on top of it. But it is a good ride. It is a fun ride. It is, um, you know, I, it's a classic. And I think everyone at least needs to ride it once. All right. And then for the last attraction, and you cannot fast pass this, but I'm going to talk about it anyways because it's my favorite, is the Chanted Tiki Room. If you have not been to the Enchanted Tiki Room, you have to go to the Enchanted Tiki Room. Walt's fingerprints are all over this ride. Um, a lot of this was, um, it started in Disneyland. It's just my favorite. I love it. It's gone through several different iterations. There's the fun song that goes with it. It's a great one for kids. A lot of that super scary stuff has been taken out. Um, it is air conditioned and you do get to sit down for a while. Um, I have snuck in well, not snuck in. I have eaten my my gummies that I have packed with me on this ride a few times, and the air conditioning is wonderful. If you get something from Aloha Isle next door, which is going to be your um, 
your Dole Whips and stuff like that. You can actually bring those into Enchanted Tiki Room. They won't let you bring anything else, I don't think, but you can bring those in um, and you can sit down and enjoy them in the air conditioning, which I highly suggest. It's such a fun little fun little trip. I love this one. Like I said, it's a classic. Um, you do get the song stuck in your head, but do that at your own risk. But that's it for Adventureland. Uh, this was a really short one because it's very short and sweet and to the point. There's not a ton to do in Adventureland other than these things. Um, there is the pirates like scavenger hunt that you can do with your kids if it's especially slow day or if you have a long time at the magic kingdom this is a fun thing to do it uses your magic band you go around and you put it up to different things and you kind of get a, a treasure hunt sometimes they will give you a fast pass to pirates if you complete it other times they may have already given them all out um I think you get one of like the old paper fast passes too, which are so much fun. Um, but yeah, that's something else to do in Adventureland. Um, and of course, my favorite parade viewing. Um, if you kind of go through right by Aloha Isle, once you get your Dole Whip, kind of towards um, Frontierland, that's like my favorite spot to ever to view a parade. Um, you can get some really good views even if you just kind of stumble upon a parade that's a fun place to stay um but yeah that's that's it for Adventureland as always if you guys have any questions about fast passes or Disney World or anything like that in general you can always leave a comment down below you guys have been awesome I've gotten so many comments lately and it's really just like you guys have no idea. I'm like, oh my God, somebody commented. I'm just like, I geek out about it. Um, <laughs> but leave a comment down below. Um, you know, you can always send me an email at thepaperumbrella.com, uh, dot travel at gmail.com or visit me at thepaperumbrella.com. That's what I meant to say. Um, but please like, please subscribe. Give me a comment down below. Ring the little bell thing, all that kind of good stuff. Um, cause I really appreciate it. Uh, it makes me super happy. Just thank you for watching uh, and being a part of this with me. Um, but yeah, that's it. I think for the paper umbrella today, now go out there and make some waves. Bye guys.